Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yelena and I recently graduated cosmetology school about a month ago. I am 29 years old and I went to school a little bit later in life. So today I'm gonna to be talking about everything about cosmetology school and kind of like how it went for me, my experience and some great tips for you guys if you're about to start school or looking into starting school and maybe you're like me where I'm a mom of two boys and I ended up um, dropping out of school five years ago and then going back to school so hopefully this video helps some of you out there if you need some tips and um, some advice on how to survive cosmetology school um, before we get started grab a cup of um, coffee or water or whatever you have nearby I have my big um, Stanley tumbler that I got from Amazon you guys best thing ever best purchase investment i actually got this for my birthday from my husband but um if you can get one of these literally amazing keeps your coffee and water cold and hot for so long and if you're a hairstylist this is like a lifesaver because in between my clients i'm literally always running back and forth and i need something huge so i don't have to constantly fill it up and this is just the best i literally drink my coffee all day in this and then it keeps your water super, super icy cold the whole day and night. So definitely recommend. It's super cute. This is like the cream one from Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys if you like it. But literally so cute. So I want to first start off by sharing my experience and kind of why I wanted to be a cosmetologist and um, kind of like what the process was like for me. So I went to a university for a little bit and then I did online university, but throughout the years, I like in my early 20s, I really wanted to um, pursue hair and go to cosmetology school. Unfortunately, um, my family, they're very supportive now and I love them dearly, but earlier on they weren't as like supportive because cosmetology wasn't as big as it is now with social media and it just wasn't as like well known and um i feel like for my family they were just very traditional they wanted me to go to a four-year four-year school and i just didn't have like the funds to pursue school and then i was also still like not um, able to get financial aid until i was 25 years old so i just continued to kind of bounce around to different schools and online school trying to get my communications degree and the whole time i just hated it i've loved doing hair since i was younger and i've just grown up doing like coloring my mom's hair my hair my friend's hair and i just knew this was like always what i wanted to do i would love being creative and i love being around other people and making people feel and look beautiful so finally when i turned 25 and i moved to north carolina I was like, okay, this is my chance to enroll in cosmetology school because I was able to qualify for financial aid on my own. So I was like independent from my parents. Um, and so I went, I applied and enrolled in beauty school. And this was <laughs> actually the time, um, this was in North Carolina and I just had a really horrible experience in my, I went to Empire Beauty School in Pineville, North Carolina. And it was only for like four months that I went. I ended up dropping out because I got pregnant. Um, I know, typical. <laughs> I wish I wouldn't have dropped out, but I did. Um, but anyway, my experience was a little bit crazy. I just hated how much drama there was at school. And I didn't realize at the time to like, kind of like where I wanted my career to go and what I was doing. I was just kind of like still bouncing around and um, I was like still kind of in a newer relationship. So it was just, my life was kind of in shambles all over the place. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do and cosmetology school is just so draining. I went full time and then when I got pregnant, I obviously dropped out after like, I think the first, like the first month that I ended up getting pregnant, I was just like, I can't handle this. Like people are just too mean. Um, clients were just really rude and I just like hated it. I just couldn't deal with it. So I ended up dropping out. I had some friends that I had made at school and it was like somewhat of an okay experience, but I was also kind of like questioning, okay, is this the right thing? Did I make the right decision enrolling in beauty school? I was just kind of all over the place, honestly. Um, like you are when you're like in your early 20s. 
so anyway fast forward to now whenever i turned um like last year i was 29 years old um being a stay-at-home mom during quarantine and all that stuff i ended up having another baby and like my husband and i got married like just so much has happened since the like between the time that i went to school and now i actually just turned 30 so never too late to go back to school um i just literally turned 30 a week ago and i got my cosmetology license like a month ago so um that just shows that you can take a long break from something and still finish and go back you don't have to like have everything be by the books i definitely didn't do it by the books and how like most people do it a lot of the people at my school even here in minnesota um were significantly younger than me and you just can't let that set you back if you are going back later in life um you just have to persevere work harder work your butt off work harder than anyone because you just know that later in life you want it just more than anybody else so anyway before i get a too off topic and too crazy all over the place that was kind of like my experience i had two kids i was a stay-at-home mom for four and a half years and then we moved to minnesota for a little bit to live with my family and this was the perfect time for me to go back to school because we um you know we didn't have to pay rent and financially we were able to afford for me to go back to school and this was like the only way we could do it and i just knew that this was something that was so important for me for me to have my own career and i just love doing hair like i always have um also throughout the time that i was taking that break i was still continuing my like education on youtube and watching hair tutorials so i never stopped doing that um, that's something that's really important if you are taking a long break from school um, make sure you're continuing like learning about hair learning new techniques so when you do go to school or you go back to doing hair you're not just like really lost so i feel like whenever i went back to beauty school and i enrolled again i felt a lot more confident in myself and in my abilities um as a hairstylist i didn't feel lost at all i was just i went straight out into the floor i started taking clients right away and i just like was so confident in myself and that's like the key to being a really great stylist even if you don't know what the hell you're doing just be calm like confident and other people and everyone else will notice that you like they're gonna have more um they're gonna be more comfortable going to you they're gonna recommend you and they're just gonna see that you're confident and they're gonna feel more comfortable and like confident that you're gonna do well on their hair that is like the number one thing that i feel like a lot of stylists struggle with and you definitely want to make sure that you're learning a lot outside of school and that's the one thing that i think school doesn't teach it school teaches you the basics I think everyone has an idea of like you're gonna go to school and you're gonna learn all this stuff and you're gonna learn all these new techniques and like all this crazy stuff but the truth is you learn the basics in school it doesn't matter if you go to empire or veda or like the fanciest school on the planet um i mean i don't know how other schools do it but i've heard stories it really just matters that you get your license because everything you're gonna learn is outside of school outside of cosmetology school you're gonna learn literally everything and that's that's how it was for me i learned pretty much everything like outside of cosmetology school and like whenever i went to school everyone was wondering like including the educators like where did you learn all this stuff like how are you so much more advanced than the rest of the people it's because i honestly like invest in myself and i continue like learning outside of school i'll wake up at 5 30 in the morning and learn from like youtube channels my online education there's um i can link down below like the different things that i use there's like behind the chair you can utilize social media you don't have to pay for education like you can literally youtube channels um i love jay-z styles on youtube she literally has a whole series and she also has like a website where you can buy like her 200 dollar like um education series where she t like teaches you about toning literally everything about hair color cutting techniques all the basics that you will need while you're in school so i definitely think like investing in yourself and making sure you're doing outside education is very helpful and you're going to feel a lot more comfortable when you're in school and then the next tip i would say is like stay away from all the drama at school focus on yourself and focus on what, what's important you're not there to make friends um 
you can make friends at school but like just think about that you're investing in yourself and this is for your future you're not there to make best friends you're not there to create drama you're not there to be involved in any of the drama you're not there to like be someone's best friend or whatever like you're literally there for yourself and if you realize that you can really do well in school and it's gonna go by a lot faster for you and not be as miserable i stayed away from pretty much all the drama there and i just being a mom i'm like i am literally a no drama mom i don't want to be involved i just want to like take my clients and i honestly just like booked myself up where i would take two to three clients a day while i was in school and i saved like all my tips and ended up saving like two thousand dollars throughout the time that i was at school which was only like eight months but still like if you just literally put everything into it you're gonna get a lot more out of it and you're gonna have a better experience during school so take the clients because that's going to help you learn as much as you can that's going to help you be more comfortable and confident in your abilities like ask your educators literally every question possible on the planet earth i had an educator who i absolutely did not really like like at first but then i realized how much she was able to teach me and she ended up like being one of my close like educators there and um i just felt like i could learn so much from her like stick to that one person in school who you can learn from and who will literally like invest in you and invest their time in you because um you're just gonna get a lot more out of it and your school experience is gonna be better because you're gonna feel like okay like i actually learned something when i went out of school so yeah stick to someone who's gonna who's able to like help you and educate you ask a ton of questions be that person that literally over asks a million questions don't just be quiet in the corner and like be scared to like ask questions because the most important thing is for you to like learn you're in school to learn so don't be afraid to ask like a million questions because that's what i did if i didn't understand something i'm like no you're gonna stand here by me and like show me because i really struggled with men's cuts and at school it's like hard for the educators to run around back and forth and they have like so many different students where they're asking questions and they need to like approve of what you're doing and check off on your lower receipt like when clients come in but I would be like, okay, I'm not starting this haircut until someone like stands here and watches me do this because I want to actually learn. So don't be afraid to do that because um, you are there to learn. You're paying for your education. So you just don't like you have to be comfortable in what you're doing and don't just start like a client's hair and start botching it up just because someone is like not there to help you if that makes sense like get an educator tell them like you're not comfortable with them leaving you um doing your men's cuts or whatever you're not like comfortable as comfortable doing i am really good with color and i just have always been really comfortable doing that so i would ask like i would tell the educator what i, what I was doing but um, I pretty much did my own thing when it came to like highlights and balayage and toning and all that stuff because they really don't teach you that at school. A lot of the educators are older and they use a lot of older techniques. So, sorry. Um, a lot of the educators are older and they use like older techniques. So a lot of the stuff that I was doing in school was actually stuff that was never taught to me at school like doing root shadows root taps um root melts or you know how to properly tone or anything that's all stuff that i learned outside of school they don't really teach you that in school um they literally teach you the very 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 basics cutting color um hair design whatever um perms and all that stuff um that's another thing i feel like i'm getting so off topic like i'm supposed to be like i feel like i have so much to cover another thing is you're gonna do stuff that you don't like to do um perms hated them hair smoothing treatments hated them you might have to do like finger waves um men's cuts if you you may like those um what else you may have to do like crazy like colors pinks reds whatever blues um i'm trying to figure out what else there was um but perms i think that it was is like the number one thing that people really don't like and hate um that's something that you can practice on your mannequins you get like a million mannequins in your kit and honestly they're not that bad you just have to do them a couple of times and get comfortable in it and they're not that bad don't let them scare you 
um, again practice makes perfect so just practice a lot and um, what else I'm trying to think state boards I'm gonna make sure I cover like everything state boards um, my biggest piece of advice so I actually did my state boards and everything like a month in advance I already had like done everything all my tests before I graduated I would definitely recommend starting to study like a month to two months before you actually have to take the test and the boards it helped me so much you guys like it saved my life because I ended up graduating and I already for a month had literally all my tests were passed I had a job lined up and I was like smooth sailing on my last month of school it was so nice and so stress-free um if you can start studying early literally in between your clients at school school is the best time to do it don't wait till you graduate to take your tests because you will be stressed out and you're gonna be like oh my gosh like what do i do uh, my biggest piece of advice is to literally a month before you graduate start studying for your board start looking over like all the stuff that they offer online or you know go to your states like cosmetology exam page and start studying all the packets that they give you print stuff out there's um i used a lot of like the paid um websites um like here in minnesota we did like the psi cosmetology exam like there's a website and you actually pay for like the practice tests and the um like practice whatever study guides and i definitely recommend doing that i just printed everything out and every day that I would get like five minutes in school I would just like study it and it helped me so much like I passed all my tests I ended up taking all my I took um one test like a couple times because I failed it but I just like literally studied so much <laughs> while I was in school like instead of taking a lunch break I would study so definitely do it early don't wait till last minute don't wait till after you graduate because it's just annoying like who wants to graduate and then have to having to like go back to cosmetology school like hi like I have to do all my paperwork because I didn't I haven't taken my test um definitely be prepared study in advance look over the packets in advance look over the tests that you have to do in advance making sure like you know what to do what you need to practice on if you feel like less comfortable in doing um foiling or perms just go back and just study it before you graduate like a month before that month is gonna fl fly by so fast if you're just like focusing on yourself and studying because i know it can like drag on because you're like oh my gosh i still have like two months left a month left like it can just feel like forever but just start practicing and studying early so you feel prepared and start looking at salons around you and like figuring out where you want to work i literally started looking at salons and i knew what area i wanted to be in, and then i found the salon i went and talked to the owner like months way 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 before i even graduated and ended up getting the job like a month and a half early before I graduated but then I ended up like switching that job and ended up going from like a commission salon to booth rental right away but yeah decide the difference between like the booth rent salons commission salons where you want to work at start figuring that out like literally before you graduate so like a month to two months before you graduate so that way you feel prepared if you guys want me to do like a separate video I feel like my feet are falling asleep if you guys want me to do a separate video on um like the difference between commission and booth rent and just kind of like how i went straight from cosmetology school to booth rental and maybe any like recommendations or advice on that i can definitely make a separate video on that i hope i covered like i feel like i try to cover as much as i can um trying to think of like what else I would definitely stay out of drama definitely do outside education and prepare yourself before you start school or during school just learn 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 invest in yourself and um, make sure you study early for your boards it's just gonna make your life a lot easier just stay organized in school also like during school just treat your um, while you're in school like treat your you know like how you are there like taking clients and everything treat everything like you would working in a professional salon for yourself or for someone else like treat it like it's your job or your career already instead of just like la di da like it's school and don't really give a crap like a lot of people do that at school but then i feel like it doesn't really do them any favors because after school they're kind of like okay what do i do now i can't get a job i wasn't prepared to do this i don't know how to take clients i don't know how to book people like 
just do it all in school and it's gonna be like easy breezy for you so like get a planner like every day i would write down all my clients on my planner i would like book people and i really treated uh, my time in school like i was a professional i folded towels i cleaned i stayed organized i sanitized i really did everything how i was supposed to do and it made my time go by so much faster and like i didn't just sit on my phone all day and like scroll through instagram i literally just treated my business like i would or treat my time in school like i would as a business going out outside of school so i feel like if you put your mind to it and you treat it like you already are a professional you're gonna have a better time clients are really gonna trust you and they're gonna see how professional you are like just be organized follow the dress code stay away from the drama like honestly don't listen to any of the drama um, because that's the number one thing that i hear is like how school is just so much drama stay away from it like you don't have to be that loser like loner in the corner it's okay if you are but you don't have to be that person you can be nice to people you can socialize but just keep to yourself and no one's gonna bother you no one's gonna bother with the drama like just honestly just focus on you and your clients and taking clients um and it will be so much easier for you that's like my biggest piece of advice and um you do get what you put into it i know people probably say that but it's um it's so true you put into school or you're gonna get out of it what you put into it so just put 100 percent into school learn as much as you can learn outside of school um make sure you utilize social media and start building your social media because that is like so huge especially today social media is like one of the top ways to get clients nowadays everyone looks at your page so if you don't have a professional account yet just start even doing that before before you like enroll in school um also my school i forgot to talk about finances i think i had some questions about that um my school in empire i did financial aid you can also do like payment plans through them i think where you can like pay as you go while you're in school so you can pay that off and they offer like um grants and scholarships but you have to like check out your school's how they do it and maybe call your school in your state wherever you are but an empire school i know that's how i did it is through financial aid and then like after you're done with school you start making payments like six months after you're done with school so i know that was a question that i had um and also for how much school cost i'm pretty sure empire the total was like twenty four thousand, which is very similar to like a lot of other schools and i know some of like a really really small ones that are like little tiny inside of like other colleges i think those are a lot cheaper but like i said doesn't matter where you go the most important thing is get your license graduate go to any school doesn't matter which school you go to everything you learn is going to be outside of school after you're done or before you're done like you're going to learn all that stuff you're literally just going for the basics so if you can find like the cheapest school possible just to get your license do that i definitely recommend doing that so whew, i feel like i just talked so much but i hope you guys got a ton of information on cosmetology school my experience i hope that helped you gave you some tips if you guys want to know any other things about school or outside of school um how it is being a cosmetologist after you graduate booth rent versus commission rent salons let me know down in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed this video good luck to anyone who is about to start um, cosmetology school or if you're changing careers or going back to school or you're going back later in life like i did um good luck to you you're gonna do amazing just stay focused on yourself and don't forget that that's like an investment that you're making in yourself so nothing else should stop you or put you in behind or put like set you behind so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm gonna try to get back into posting regularly try to post some hair content for you guys and um yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye